Good morning, my name is Judges and all participants in this room. My name is Catherine Kimberly and I'm from STK Santo Francisco Assisi. In this morning, I'd like to share a speech to all of you guys about should we limit our use of gadgets? Almost everybody in this room are using gadgets, am I right? Nowadays, gadget is a basic need for everyone, especially these days, COVID-19 are spreading around the world. So, people need to stay at home, but our activity need to go on. So, people nowadays are using gadget for working, studying, playing games, and many more. But, do you guys know how long we use our gadget in a day? People spend 3 hours and 15 minutes on their gadgets with the top 20% of smartphone users are spending upward four and a half hour. We need to rest our eyes and not to spend our time too long on our gadgets. Excessive use of gadgets such as mobile phone, tablets, computer desktop can cause mentally and physical damage to a child and may cause over seizure, develop seizure, and vision problems as they grow up. I'm gonna give you some reasons why modern gadgets impede child development. First, drastic brain development. During the toddler years, brain triple in size and continue to develop until the adult years. Studies have shown that too much gadget may negatively affect a child's brain on its functioning and may negatively cause attention to fake, cognitive delays, impaired learning, increased impulsivity, and decreased ability to self-regulation. Second, oh no, obesity. Children who rely their time in front of the screens rather than outside on the playground do not burn the calories they take in. Children should get fit on the playground and build relationship. Third, violence. Some parents may notice that their child learned to be aggressive due to long hours of playing gadgets. Four, radiation exposure. According to the 2011 report of the World Health Organization, or known as WHO, cell phones and other wireless devices category risk because of their radiation emission. Fifth, reduce interaction. Children who play tablets will easily play by their own without their friends. Six, sleep deprivation. Children who are addicted to play cell phones or tablet games miss out the needed stress on their occasion. Playing gadgets already became their sleeping pill. Seven, no exposure to nature. Gadgets are killing the development of a child. It's out, instead of getting out and knowing the ways of the world, running and socializing with other kids, they will play at home with their gadgets. Eight, damage eyesight. Experts say that good eyesight largely depend up on staring on varying distance. Children who are addicted to play computer games will likely to accept efficient problems as they grow up. Nine. Addiction. Parents need to expose their child to rest the world rather than leaving them at home and play gadgets. So friends, we could limit our use of gadgets by doing our hobby, going outside, socialize with other kids, and many more. By doing these positive things, we could limit our use of gadgets and be closer with our family. My conclusion of this speech is that gadgets are actually good for our health, but if we use it too long, it will be bad for our health. Thank you everybody and stay healthy.